Hello, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sag, how you doing? Welcome to your July 2019 reading with me, Cindy. Um, I have actually five weeks of July here. There are five weeks in July. And um, typically I will do bi-weeklies, but with the summer coming and my son coming out of school, I'm just trying to plan ahead, thinking if I get too busy to do bi-weekly, I can at least give you the whole month right now. So I'm still hoping to be able to do bi-weekly, but I'm just, you know, planning for the worst and hoping for the best. So as we get started, Sag, um, the first uh, cards that I was using were my Energy Oracle cards. Two came out for you. I got two cards that came out. We got the journey. So this is like a new beginning, getting ready to start a new beginning, getting ready for something new. And then you also got the attachment card. So this is releasing something that you're attached to, whether it's thoughts or what thoughts that you had about something, the belief system that you had, how you see yourself, how you see others, you're releasing something, you're getting ready to release it. She's still looking at the mask, but she's taken it off or she's taken it off of whoever she was looking at and she's ready to drop it and look at things for what they really are. Now, the underlying card for this deck, for the Energy Oracle deck, was the Thinking Man. So this is what is sort of causing this this most prominent energy for you. That's how I would describe these two cards. These are your most prominent energy. The journey and the attachment and the underlying effect to that is thinking. Thinking a lot, holding it in your hand almost and thinking about it, analyzing it, trying to really determine the best route to go. So that's your underlying energy. That's your main energy for the whole month of July. So this is like the first week in July, second, third, fourth, and fifth. These are the wild untamed animal spirit cards. I like them because they are wild and untamed. So they are, you know, they're pretty open and honest about the energy around you. So for the first week, um, actually, before we go into that, before we go into that, there's something really interesting happened. So I recorded the Scorpio video just before I did yours now. And in the exact same spot, they got Panther, which I thought, okay, that's interesting. But then when I finished putting the cards out, like the black egg for your fifth week is about a deeper truth within yourself. Your underlying card for this deck is Eagle. An eagle is very, very karmic. You may be pushed in the month of July to reassess what you think or believe in certain things. And this is karmic. This is karmic. An eagle is very powerful, very powerful energy. This is almost like your deeper self has agreed to be here at this point in space and time to work through this karmic energy. And I'm bringing that up because you show this in the same spot that Scorpio does, and Scorpio's is massive karmic energy. I would say, if you're watching this video and you are um, thinking about invo or involved in, at this time, in uh, a mixed race relationship or in um, a, a different type of relationship, like maybe a homosexual relationship, and this is not something that would be easily accepted by your family or other friends. You might want to watch the Scorpio video. It might be really good for you. I don't think that's the full message that you're going to get here in the Sagittarius reading. Who knows where it will go when we start pulling out the tarot cards to clarify. But for those of you, um, yeah, it was a pretty strong, pretty strong message in that reading. So let's get started with you, with Sag. So for your first week... In July, you have Mouse. Mouse is cute, but Mouse is very timid. This is Earth energy. It's very grounded, so Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo energy. Sorry, I bumped the camera. And um, But it feels like you guys, it feels like you're sort of harnessing that energy. You're feeling very mousy. You're feeling... Um, maybe, a, maybe you're feeling the karmic energy around you that's playing out right now. It's been building up in a sense, and ego comes in like, look at how ego is coming in, like swooping in, 
This is the time, it's happening now. Like Eagle is almost like harnessing the energy of the sun. So it is a very, very powerful card and it's about to happen for you now. So you have this mousy energy and we will clarify it, which is not extremely powerful, but mousy does get what they need to get done, done. And, um, but it's the bottom of the food chain. Like if we're thinking about wild untamed animals, it's pretty, it's pretty low on the uh, the scale, which is surprising for me because Sag is pretty like, pretty powerful energy, but with something really big is coming that's karmic like this, it may get you into this so that you can prepare yourself, right? Prepare yourself for what's to come. Almost harness and reserve your energy. So the second week you have butterfly energy, which is wonderful. The butterfly is, um, is air energy so you're looking at libra aquarius gemini energy if that pertains to you but however i feel that so far these both feel like you this is a rebirth in something um there's there aren't major cards around it so i don't feel like it's a whole big dramatic rebirth on something specific it feels like it's just part of your process at this point we go through rebirths like probably a million times in each lifetime that we have just because there's so many things that we learn and we move forward with and we gain knowledge on and experience and we take that further so this feels like it's it's that right it feels like it's it's a bit of that so that's your second week in july your third week is so cute you're so cute you're this um this is water energy so you're really getting all the all the feelings in here now so cancer scorpio Scorpio, Pisces. So um, a beaver is a very hard worker. Beaver will get it done. It might take, mm, so I'm getting the message. With beaver, you know, beaver can start a project and beaver doesn't care if it takes three or four years to finish. I feel like this is a project that's been in the making for you. Whatever this is, this big karmic clearing, this new journey, this new journey for you, but time is now. I'm feeling that maybe you've been in this beaver energy for a while. You've been really working hard on perhaps your career or your home, something you've been working really hard on, and uh, you're about to get distracted. <laughs> you're about to get distracted. So then we come into Panther. So this is the fourth week in July. Panther is fire energy. Could be you, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm feeling a little bit like it's you still. I'm really feeling like all these cards in the top are you. Like it very much feels like it's speaking about Sagittarius in July. So this is a very aggressive. I'm getting it too like I was getting it for Scorpio. This is aggressive energy. This is defending something. This is coming out on the attack because someone or something is trying to jeopardize you trying to jeopardize your stability, your home, what it is that you get comfort and security out of. So yeah, we need to find out why that is there. And then, then it gets interesting. So the fifth week in July, there are five weeks in July, you have black egg. And this isn't any earthly alchemical symbol. This is spirit. This is the spirit symbol. So this is a very deep knowing. This is like your deeper self, your soul level energy. And there is a deep, deep truth within the black egg that needs to come out. When this card appears, there's something deeply, deeply within you that hasn't come out yet in this lifetime. And it needs to come out. It needs to come out because it's karmic. It's a very deep karmic level of energy that you guys are entering for july like why right like july is summer it's supposed to be fun and free well it still could be we have to pull the clarifiers right like it still could be because karma is good too so scorpio had the dolphin which is healing karmic energy healing healing good good karmic energy like good stuff is going to come out of the struggle they're moving towards they're moving through and yours could also actually the these are pretty there's pretty good cards here for you in terms of what's playing out and this new journey looks very promising but it's almost as if eagle is saying you've been sitting here long enough and we need to do this we need to do this this was part of your soul contract with yourself and others and we need to get the ball moving the ball has to roll Ooh, oh my gosh that flew out all right it's kind of like your spirit guides are going to do what Scorpio's spirit guides are doing. 
they're going to fly cards out on me when I'm not even asking questions. So we have the five of coins. Mm -hmm. That's interesting because, gosh, you guys are mirroring, mirroring Scorpio in similar ways here. So there was a feeling of loss, I believe. Um, yeah, was it this, was it the panther? Or they had a gazelle here. It was either one of them, and it was about loss. Someone was feeling like they were going to lose uh, what they've been working for. So there's a feeling here for you guys, too. I'm going to put this over here because I wasn't really specifically saying what I wanted to clarify. Perhaps it's for mouse, but let's get further clarification. Let's find out why Sagittarius is in this mousy energy in the first week in July. Why is Sagittarius all mousy? The Page of Cups. That came up for Scorpio too, guys. The Page of Cups. Oh, so there's... Mm, that's interesting. Yeah, this is a new type of, almost like a new type of feeling energy, loving energy that is coming towards you. This is something that you're still learning about. This is something that you're still learning about. And this process is about to open up for you. Pages are all, are all about learning and moving forward. <laughs> moving forward, remember? Like it feels like Eagle is here because this needs to move forward at a better pace. And being cups, feelings, deep feelings, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right, butterfly. What is this little bit of rebirth? Little itty bitty rebirth. Let's see, the page of coins. Holy moly, guys. There is a lot of learning and moving forward going on here. The page of coins. Mm. So it almost feels like perhaps this is an attempt to reclaim what you're feeling you might lose or might be lost. Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And this one specifically has the Taurus symbol above it. So beaver. What has Sagittarius been working? Why is Sagittarius been working so hard? What are they working so hard towards? I'm being told to ask a different question. Okay, because I'm being told to ask a different question. You guys know what you've been working so hard towards. Um, why are you being asked to come out of that energy? Why are you being asked to come out of that energy? Because that's what I feel like is happening here. You're being asked to move it forward. Move it forward. Keep the line going. Let's go. Why, why is Sagittarius being asked to move out of beaver energy? Death. The death card, because there's a new beginning waiting for you, Sag. Oh my god. And whose card is that? But Scorpio. This is too freaky, man. This is freaking me out. Wow. I got my you guys got my freak on here. Yeah, you be you were you were something going on. There's something going on. This is huge karmic clearing, man. This is karmic clearing. Okay, I'm going to tell you a little bit what went on in the Scorpio reading. So the Scorpio reading, um, it was uh, like, like, like love, romance, moving forward. And it came out, like as I was doing the cards, I got the song in my head. And they're the only, there's only two Zodiacs that I got a song in my head that I was doing readings for, for July. And they were one of them. And it was Elton John Island Girl. And right away, I realized what was happening. So if you're not familiar with the song, you can go check it out. It's a great song. It's an oldie but a goodie. And it's basically a song about, um, you know, asking this island girl, this girl of colored skin, why are you interested in the white man's world? Why? You know, why? So I got immediately, got, okay, this is about a relationship that is not going to be um, looked upon in the most positive way by other parties for whatever reason. You know, everyone's got their hang-ups in life. but So that's why this karma is going through for them. So if that resonates with any of you, if you're going towards a relationship that... Um, that may not be favorable in the eyes of your family or friends or people that you are very close with, 
that that reading might have some messages for you. So let's clarify Panther. Thanks, that came out like bongzo. <laughs> oh my word, guys. We got the magician and we got the nine of coins. Wow. So yeah, the nine of coins. We get these all lined up here. The Nine of Coins is really nice energy. We're again, we're looking at Earth. There's a lot of Earth in here, and there was a lot of Earth in the uh, Scorpio reading. There was a lot of Earth in the Scorpio reading. That's interesting. There's definitely correlations between your reading and the Scorpio reading, and you have the Magician card, and the Magician is. Um, really trying to get everything out of life for me on this card. If we look at this magician closely, I'm making sure it's focused. I've been having trouble lately. So it has the Ace of Cups, it has the Ace of Swords, it has the Ace of Wands, and it has the Ace of Pentacles. This magician is holding a crystal ball and working to bring all of that forward for themselves, all of that forward. So you are in this aggressive energy in a sense, it's almost like you're using that energy to create what it is that you want. You're using that energy to create what it is that you want. This Nine of Pentacles is a really beautiful, wonderful energy. So it feels like after this day, you're being asked to move into this new start, this new, this almost sense of a rebirth. I'm, I, want, I was just told to look at the bottom. We do have the Devil card at the bottom. I am gonna clarify the Black Egg but we do have the devil card at the bottom, which to me is all about change. When I see the devil card, if I see the devil and the strength card in particular, the devil and the death card together, it is telling me about lessons that are coming through to you in this lifetime to push you, to push you a little bit, right? If you go, if you're someone who likes to go for a run, do 5K run. So typically when you're out on your own, maybe you do it in 30 minutes. If you do it with other people, you do it in 25 because they're pushing you, right? So this is what spirit is here to do right now. The universe is here to push this through because you been a little beaver on it for a little bit too long so why is the black egg here what is this deeper truth another page <laughs> page of wands the page of wands Ooh, ooh, getting some clarity here remember we were talking about how this magician is bringing everything in is working on bringing everything in i feel like that's what you're doing I feel like you're trying to get yourself to be this magician energy and you're at the page right now, but that's great because you're moving forward. The page is learning and moving forward. You are really, really moving into your own energy. At the bottom of the deck, as we finished shuffling it, you have the Palace of Cups. This is beyond the King of Cups. The Palace of Cups is, look at it, it's at the bottom of the ocean. Like you can't go much deeper than that and feelings. This is deep, deep feelings are, are really what are starting to move this forward. Spirit is sort of poking you with these feelings. These feelings, I'm getting the message, these feelings are what are driving you forward, which is great because feelings, feelings and imagination are the two strongest key points in manifesting, manifesting what it is that you want. So now I am shuffling. Yes, yeah, okay. I can get this with this deck. So I'm shuffling this deck because I would like to get um, some guidance, some spirit guidance for Sagittarius. <laughs> for the month of July. <laughs> yeah, spirit is pushing you guys. Eagle spirit. Spirit has your back. Ooh, spirit has your back. That is a great message. So not only is spirit here to push this karmic energy through to kind of get you going, to wake you up, but they have your back on this. It's being supported. It's not like the teacher is saying, you know, it's time to do this test that you were warned about 30 years ago before you were actually born. And I'm going to walk out of the room and hope you do well with it. So no, this is the teacher is saying, now that lesson has come up, that test has come up. And we, you know, you were told about it 30 years ago before you were born. 
but myself and some others are going to stay in the room and if you have any questions you can put up your hand right so that's what's being time to collaborate is at the bottom ant spirit time to collaborate number one and number one for me is spirit collaborate with spirit and that's what this black egg is a little bit about too because it is spirit-led it is a spirit-led deeper truth Woo, man I almost feel like I want to pull more cards though. I do. Let's go to a different deck because then we can get repeats too. I haven't pre shuffled this. Let me shuffle this really well. I want to get a little bit more on the death card for you guys. A little bit more on this death card. I still have that out in John song in my head. The white man, tell me what you want with the white man. Tell me what you want with the white man's world. The emperor has come up every time I split the deck here, and now it won't even shuffle. It's like the emperor is being so powerful, he's not letting the cards come together. All right, I'm gonna shuffle. We are asking for more information. What else can spirit tell us? Okay, about. The death card the three of swords that was unexpected that was unexpected a heartbreak a heartbreak Ooh. i am not really getting any third party energy out of this this may be specific for a few people that have come into this reading this may be specific so there's there's light this is all going to be lit up and this is going to be cleared Oh, okay. Oh, oh, I'm getting a very clear message right now that um, this third party energy is actually family members or outside members that may have been slowing down this karmic movement for you. This, this progression, this rebirth. Look, at we have the butterfly, which is a little rebirth card. And beside it is beaver sort of, you know, being I was not so much stuck, but just on a path that you're not getting off for the longest time and the death card is moving that out of there so there's there's pressure here from spirit to get this happening for you this three of swords it feels like maybe you're a little bit stuck because of people's um people's belief about what is right for you right we're you're removing that attachment if we go back to these original cards you're removing that attachment that attachment to thought to belief opening it up You've been thinking about that and you're about to hit that new journey. You're about to hit that new journey. All right. I'm glad I clarified that. I needed a little more clarification. We do have at the bottom of that the Ten of Swords. So it is in a sense like a death card in a sense. It's just clarifying that, that whatever this is, is coming to an end. It's coming to an end and you are going to be in a lot of power. That's all I know. The end of July, you guys are going to harness a lot of power. So there you go, Sagittarius. I am looking forward to any comments that y'all can provide. Um, watch for eagles. Watch for some eagles. I think if I'm getting the message, if you see any large birds of prey from the time you see this video to just moving forward for the summer, that's a reminder that spirit has your back. Spirit has your back. All right, Scorpios. Thank you for coming in. Thumbs up, thumbs down, like the video, dislike the video. Whatever you feel you need to do, I am good with. Thank you guys and have a lovely, lovely July. And I hope to be back for bi-weeklies if my son does not keep me too busy. All right, guys, take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon. Bye.